What's up, everybody? It's Get Much Higher Podcast. I'm Brandon, I'm and nice. this is... You gotta wait. I'm so, we never do that. You jump the it's gun, It's always, bro. and this is... Brandon Budgen, or and this and is... And I said, and this is, and then you just go... Al Robinson. You just jumped the gun. You're way too excited. I'm a little excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty excited, actually, too. We have a good reason to be, though. Yeah. We're reviewing Spazzy D's new single, Real Friends. Tell us about Alex. So, of course, tell us about Alex because I'm more intelligent and stuff. It's, yep. uh, so, Real Friends was the last good music release by Kanye West. Not good music. I mean, a uh, good Friday release by uh, Kanye West. It was a dope beat. Took everybody, surpri- suppressly, su- <coughs> took everybody su- by surprise, especially after uh, the previous uh, good Friday release was Facts, and nobody liked that. So, uh, Spazzy D's rapping over that beat, and uh, Kanye's version was kind of slow. So, um, it was definitely nice to knowing that somebody was going to do this who is particularly more speedy when they rap. More speedy, more uh, and, uh, more lyrical. Yeah. So the second I saw this, Bazzy dude was uh, had released a remix of this. I actually really wanted to jump on it because uh, I don't know. He's a he's a trustworthy dude for sure. Yeah, and obviously, real friends is about well, the Kanye version was about real friends, yeah. and so is the Spazzy D version. Uh, it's sort of his angle at this this topic of real friends and kind of has come up mm. dealing with these things but uh, uh, how, like, how did you feel about the song like, what did you think um, I, I, I liked it a lot uh, personally I can't compare it to the original version but I'll, obviously I'm not expecting uh, him to live up to Kanye West mm-hmm. uh, I'd say one of my favorite parts about this was what he managed to do with the subject matter which was not changing the subject matter and the fact that it's about real friends but through the transition between the first verse and the second verse the first verse is talking about real friends, talking about not having real friends, whatever it may be. It's kind of in a negative light. Yeah. Then he has the hook, which he does uh, also rewrite himself, which I, I appreciated that a lot. And then uh, for the second verse, he's still talking about the same things, but uh, in a lot more kind of a, a boasty and positive way. Yeah. And it gave the song like a, a different element and like really good vibes, personally. I like that. Yeah, he totally made this his own song. Yeah. Like, it's all from his voice. Um, like the way he raps on this beat because like, obviously it's a little bit lower key of a beat it's a little bit slower beat and he comes on with more of a monotone kind of kind of flow yeah uh, which is interesting on this song and like like makes me think of Kendrick even more and more every time he raps yeah. every time I hear Spazzy D uh, but not in a bad way like not mm-hmm. in the way where he's imitating him he just has a similar talent yeah, yeah. Um, as Kendrick Lamar um, yeah other than like just the subject matter and everything, I really liked the beat itself and the yeah. way that he sort of rapped on it. I did find that the beat really helped support not only his flow, which was on point during the song, but uh, also the, the speedy, uh, like almost monotone uh, kind of voice flow that, that, that you were mentioning. Uh, the beat really helped support that because the beat is far from monotone. Like it may be softer, but it's yeah, got it's definitely... a, lot of, uh, a lot of elements to it. And uh, yeah, I think the beat was like one of the, like probably one of the better songs that uh, Spazzy could have done a remix of. I almost said Kendrick just because. <laughs> but uh, other than that, it's a uh, typical Spazzy D, I guess. His rhyme scheme is on point. Yeah. His wordplay is through the fucking roof. He's constantly, like, he, he, you know, some songs they'll be like that didn't really rhyme or like yeah, okay, yeah. well you're only rhyming the last words of those you, lines. You sort of change the way you pronounce that word to make it rhyme. Yeah, but yeah. like Spazzy has this inept ability to rhyme almost every word with every word at least it seems that way because of the way he he raps faster and he, he stays at the same pace and it's really easy to think that every word is rhyming and that's i like that a lot and, and like lyrically you sort of like talked about it a little bit like what you what you thought of it but like like what i think of it like he he's sort of talking about all these things in his life and he's making it so personal that i, I don't know like i feel like he totally made this song his own like you know what yeah. i mean like it's not like he's using a Kanye beat to do a Kanye song or his version of a Kanye song. It yeah. was his song. He wanted to make yeah. a song, and he was like, but what beat do I want for this song we're about to write? Oh, a song titled Real Friends has just been released. That sounds perfect. And It just fit, yeah, it just yeah. fit what he wanted to write about. And, like, he's just talking about his struggles with, like, you know, things like peer pressure and just having people reject him throughout his life. And now, you know, he's getting booked, and now he's getting a lot of shine for... You know, being a good rapper and things yeah. like that and getting attention online. Um, it's sort of like the come up story from when he started till about now, but it's yeah. not done, which is cool because, you know, in the future songs, he's going to carry that story on, mm-hmm. which really interests me when I'm listening to a new rapper because it's yeah. like, 
hey, they started here and like look look at where they are right now. So uh, I have two questions. Yeah. Steve. First of all, how would you relate this song to what I showed you off of his last EP, or not? Uh, you know what? I think he's stepped up his performance. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to actually recording, like like his performance on the track, mm. um, just his delivery and things like that like you can definitely tell there's absolutely. Uh, an, Im- an improvement there. an improvement and just sort of like I feel like the, he totally was able to relate this to himself mm-hmm. you know rather than just making it uh, <laughs> you know like I said like rather than making it like his version of a Kanye song it's just yeah. like it's really made it his song and you wouldn't be able to tell mm-hmm. that it was a different song before now second question uh, we always rate the album reviews mm-hmm. but uh, this is our very first single review ever We're starting off with a Twitter rapper we're about to do another Twitter about that Twitter rapper, but that's that's a surprise. It's way to the next video, but uh, if if we're gonna rate this, uh, not only as a single but also as a Twitter rapper single, which we often categorize separately because they don't have the same equipment or material that other rappers have. Anyways, what are you rating this? This is like as a tweet, <coughs> like as a tweet, it's a gr- it's a ten out of ten tweet. Oh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> but as a, as a song, as a track. Uh, I, I fucks with it like it's that's not a number uh, I would give it maybe a 8 out of 10 I was actually gonna say 8 out of 10 yeah also, that so. just, I, I took your rating I'll say 8.1 then okay and I'll I'll stick with 8 point zero five. 8.05 so, there you have it I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed you have anything else to say uh, uh, no Vancouver's awesome I hope you guys enjoyed and your um, hair's awesome I fuck with Stay that. tuned for the next one, which will be another Twitter rapper. And uh, if you guys actually like these single reviews, let us know. Because uh, we like to record album reviews, obviously, but we just don't always have time for those because we have to re- listen to the whole album together, take notes, and then we do track by track, which takes a long fucking time. And So, yeah, we're just mixing up a bit. Yeah. So, peace out and subscribe. Bye.